now in the process of doing the initial burn, the initial firing process. We're going to follow the steps in the Stowbright user guide with this wood stove. To help start our kindling fire here, we're just going to use some regular kindling material and we're going to use the Stowbright fire starter to help us start that fire. We'll keep this kindling fire going for about five to ten minutes and that'll allow us to heat up the metal just above ambient air temperature, probably approaching a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit surface temperature. That'll move the, that'll keep the paint from being shocked. So now we've had the kindling fire going for a little while and we've now added a little bit of fuel to it. We're going to add some more fuel. We're, what we're trying to do now is build a fire that's of a normal size, maybe a little hotter than your normal size fire. In this size firebox I'd probably use two or pieces of this type of quarter round fuel to build it up to a normal size fire. We want to keep this normal sized fire a little bit larger than normal sized fire burning for about 45 minutes to an hour. During this time period you might experience a smell or an odor. You'll want to ventilate the room to help you dissipate that odor and eventually when we stoke up the fire to very hot in a later stage we're going to see some visible smoke. We've now stoked up the fire to a very hot fire. We've added lots of fuel, opened up our damper to let lots of air in, and you can see there's been visible smoke off of the pipe. This is the smoke that's going to give you an odor in your home. You want to have some ventilation. We have a door open. We have some cross ventilation working here to allow us to dissipate the smell. We'll keep this fire going for about 45 minutes to an hour. And during this process of the pipe getting extraordinarily hot, we've got visible smoke coming off as the paint is changing from its regular paint to a heat resistant paint. When this process is complete, the color will be set. We've completed the stove pipe project with the Stove Bright High Temperature 6201 Charcoal Paint. What you're seeing on screen now is the pipe after it's been in, through the initial burn process. So it's been exposed to temperatures above 500 degrees Fahrenheit, approaching 600 degrees Fahrenheit, to have this finish. And this will be the finish that you have whenever you light this stove. You can use the Stove Bright High Temperature paint to paint your stove pipe. And as you can see, we have a color deck that has a variety of colors. We have over 30 different colors you can choose from to paint your stove pipe or your stove. Follow the instructions in the Stove Bright User Guide for the best results. This includes surface preparation, applying the paint for the best finish, and then what to do with the initial burn process to get the finish as it appears here. Thank you.